So what up everyone, welcome back to the life, of course you know what it is. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, share, just do all that stuff. Help me build the channel, 100 subscribers by the end of June. That should be easy stuff, come on. So anyway, if you've been with me and you've seen my previous video, hatching store-bought quail eggs, that went well. So I thought I'd try something else. So I'm going to try. Oh no, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you. I'll tell you when I go to the store. But I've already been to the store, I'm doing this in reverse. Because... I can. I, I just move like that. But anyway, let's get to it. I bought a new incubator, so let me show you the incubator. So okay. here's my incubator of choice this time. Thought I'd uh, try it out. Be a bit posh, you know, go to the posh side and that. No more DIY. So hopefully it works. So people, I'm in Waitrose. I got the goose eggs, only thing is they had only had three. See that? So I just have to deal with it. If they said they get another shipment on Friday, so if I can do them before then and nothing's in them, I'll just get another pack. So it is what it is. Yeah, and then that one. So there we go. Oh, there we go, they're in now. So we got egg one, two, and three. I have to weigh them like once a week to see them and make sure they're not losing weight too quickly and all that um, yeah. yeah so that's the main thing so i'll be back on day like five or seven to candle it see if anything's in there if not then gonna chuck them out and try to start again i guess so yeah so this is egg one doesn't look like anything's in there i'm gonna weigh it and see so yeah here we go guys, I don't know if you can see all those little bits coming off, but they are vessels. Oh, here we go guys, egg number three. Trying to see if I could see it actually moving. Do you see that? So this is the second egg. You can see it moving. It's a bit heavy, just a couple of grams, so the humidity might be a bit too high, but I can sort it out. So yeah. So this one's the second egg because we couldn't get the first egg any movement on camera. So it is what it is. But this, yeah, this is the one that's behind a bit. But all the better to see inside the egg. Okay, so here they are. In the homemade one now. I do you know what? To be honest, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know. Because basically, let me just do that. So basically, my temperature gun broke. So I can't. <laughs> I put them in there first of all. I used temperature gun and it was saying 33, 34 degrees. And I. You know, I pooped myself because they're supposed to be thirty-seven point five, yeah. So I quickly rushed them back into the other one because I'm leaving that on just in case. But now I have no way to tell if it's right. I just have to literally go by the thermostat and then the uh, thermometer. But they they're not the same as that. A degree, it. Uh, so at this point, I don't know. I could have done all this for no reason. I've ordered new temperature guns, but they're not coming till Friday and by then it doesn't even matter because it, what's done is done. I've um, candled them. I still see the one moving that we've seen earlier. The other one I can't see still, but they still got vessels, so I don't know. There might be one, there might be two, there might be none. I don't know, so bear with me. Life, of course, I'm out. So don't watch that piece. I'm going to bed, yeah? So... I've come up, it's um, 20 past 3 in the morning, yeah? And lucky I checked on them because the bulb had broke. I didn't even notice that was this bit was down at 30 degrees. And in, so but I can't actually check what it was in there. So yeah, I'm guessing it probably was 30. But the yeah, temperature gun, I can't even check what the egg was. But I took it out, I candled it. I see movement, but 
I don't know, man. There's a lot, there's a lot of stuff going in, going against us. It's like certain saying they don't they don't want this goose to they don't want this goose to come out. But that's why we need to root for it even more. Yeah, you know I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know. I'm really not sure. But you know, I'll keep you updated. I'm out. So guys, I've just come home from uni, and there's the external pip. Start to external pip. Just when I thought, you know, all hope was gone at me. So they can take up to, I think up to three days to hatch, you know. So it's not getting all happy now. But, you know, it's a start. That at least there's air in that now. There should be air in the egg. So they shouldn't, you know, run out of air. So yeah, good stuff. Oh, that's so silly. I was actually right here just watching it happen. And I looked away to try and see if I could see what the humidity was. I've looked back and then it's made the next little crack. So looks like everything's going well. Now I need to go back to cooking because I've left the cooking to do this. So yeah, be back. Is that a feather? I don't know. Do it again, yes! Come on! You can do it! I wish I sorted this window out so we could see you better. Come on, yeah! You wanna hear my voice? You will hear it until you get out of that egg. Yes! Yes, come on! Come on! I know. Yes, yes! Do you want me to leave you for 20, 30 minutes? I'll come back, give you a little rest, yeah? Okay, that's it for now then. You're not far. You are not far. You've done the hard bit. You just gotta, just gotta keep going, my friend. Just keep going. Look at you. You're big. Yes, my boy. You're out. You're out. So it's done, guys. It's out. Karen or Kevin. I'm a dad again. I told you. <laughs> two tries, two hatches. Look at look. Look. Look at the size. Look at the size. Whoa. I did was not expecting that it to be this big. It looks but, different. So I need to put them back into incubator set. I've took the water out so to so they could dry off, keep warm. And then I'll be back when they're fluffed up. Life of Kush. So everything was going great. I think he imprinted on me, little Kev. But little did I know, even though everything seemed all right, it wasn't going to end up that way. Because around 21 hours after he got yeah. out of the egg, the hand. he yes, sadly passed Kevin. away. Yes. I don't know what it was. To, yes, I d Kevin. can't. I don't know if it was. A dis Good I don't know. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I just don't know. Loving but it. rest in peace to the little one, Kevin. It was sad, man. So that's all I have for you. Life of Kush. Like, share and subscribe if you like the video. More videos to come. But yeah, I'm out.